What's up guys, this is Will of Will H Tech Review back with another video and today I'm taking a look at a front pocket wallet. Yep, this is something a little different on my channel, but I was in the market for a new wallet and I wanted something not so big and bulky uh, like the one that I currently carry. This is, this is it. And I started looking around and I saw a guy at work. He had a little thin, small wallet. I said, that's something that that I would like. So I end up picking this up and uh, here's a picture of it here, but I got it off of amazon.com. This is the Travel Lambo wallet. Uh, it's a front pocket minimalist leather slim wallet. And this has the RFID blocking uh, technology in it. And this is a medium size as it says right there. But here's some pictures of, of this thing. And it's very nice looking, but I end up getting the color called Crazy Horse, but as you can see, you have tons and tons of colors, uh, some of the colors. So this is a Viper yellow, if you if you want a yellow one, or you can get, get a red one, uh, Viper red. And there's just so many different colors here. Uh, if you want, if you want this color here, this is a orange yum. So uh, the price on these vary. I uh, see this one's only $7.99. Uh, the one I picked up was $9.99 and it's called the Crazy Horse Black and that's it right there. So let's look at some of the features and details about this, uh, about this wallet here. All right, some of the features and details. Uh, this has a one year quality protection. This is super minimalist and slim. This is only 0.1 inch thick, sizing 3.3 by 4.1 by 0 0.2. Uh, so it's air, extremely convenient to carry around in your front or back pocket. 100% uh, leather, soft and durable. Like I said, this has the RFID, RFID blocking. Uh, this has been tested and proved by uh, independent labs, uh, the wallets, are tested for 13.5 megahertz frequencies in which our credit cards, debit cards, driver's license, and ID operate. But it uh, does say that the signal of some ID badges, access cards, and hotel cards, which operate in the 120, 142 KHZ cannot be, uh, cannot be blocked by this wallet. So uh, the, the RFID is the technology that the bad guys use to steal your, your identity. So, all right, guys, let's take a look at it. And here's the, this is what it came in for me, uh, the regular little packaging and then uh, this baggie. <laughs> that was it. Now, I've seen other people's videos where they get a nice box that it come in, but uh, I just got this in, in the regular packaging that they sent it to you in the mail. And this bag so all right so here it is as you can see this is very very thin man i don't know how it's coming across on camera uh but let's get this comes in this little paper here let's get this off well i'm gonna go ahead and rip it off now all right so here is the wallet man and this it is very thin like i said you got your little uh travel lambo uh, and signature there. You do have a spot here for your ID. And you got a card in here, a thank you card for purchasing. And then on the back of it, introduction of RFID blocking. So there is some of the st same stuff I read off to you earlier. You can see what, what it blocks and what it doesn't. You want to stop the bad guys. So uh, but here's the wallet. So it seems to be you got one, two, three slots here. You have a slot here. And then on the inside of it, that's the inside of it. I'm assuming this is the material that, that blocks that. Uh, it's built in here some type of way. And then here's another look on the inside of this. So you got your ID. You got an, uh, another pocket where well, you can put stuff behind that pocket where your ID is. You got this slot here, you got another slot, and you got three slots here. So very, very thin 
compared. Now, this one has stuff in it, but you can see, you can definitely see the difference. So we're going to go ahead and simulate putting some cards and money in here. So I got a couple of old, old cards here that don't mean nothing. So supposedly, if this was my ID, it could go there. And I could probably get some cards in here. So that's two. I'll go ahead and put three in here. I'll put two there. And I'll put one back here. Put another one here and we'll put one more right here so that's one my id two three four five six cards right there and you can see it's not very wide at all and now i'm going to drop some cash in there so i got about let's see how much money i got here i'm broke man i got uh 30 bucks right here, two fives and a 20. Let's see if they'll drop in this big slot here. So go in there pretty good. So there it is, man. That's uh, six cards, five cards ID. And I do still have another slot right here where I could put, put something else as well. Maybe one or two more cards. Uh, what else whatever else you need in there and that's pretty much it man i don't know how much more a person would need and this stuff all feels seems to be uh, in there secure uh, with your driver's license they do leave a slot here where you can slide slide that out my fingers are uh, kind of uh, wet right now from the lotion but uh yeah man so this is packed full of stuff thirty dollars worth of cash about eight cards and you can see the difference right here. So this is why I picked this up. Uh, very minimal. Looks good. And it has some nice stitching around it. And uh, I think I'm going to enjoy this. So, okay, guys. So that is a look at the Travel Lambo Front Pocket Minimalist Wallet. I'll leave a link in the description if you guys want to pick this up. Wheel H, and I'm out.